This is our main event of the evening at the Rumble at Remington, the rematch. Bo Gibbs Jr. versus Derek Adkins. Joining us as always, ringside is the champ, Darren Humphrey. Darren, let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Well, on paper, Bo Gibbs looks like the, you know, obviously the better fighter, but Adkins did what he did in the first fight. And Bo Gibbs has been looking for a rematch this whole time. And I feel like Atkins maybe drew it out, maybe waited to do this. So we'll see. Atkins came in a little bit overweight. So there's a couple of different scenarios we can look at there. Did Atkins do that because he wasn't, is he not in shape or did he do it because, hey, I want to take everything into this fight, not lose the last couple of pounds. That's a big, that's something everybody's got to think about tonight. Derek Atkins handing uh, Bo Gibbs his first loss as a professional. Bo Gibbs, of course, a world-ranked middleweight. And it looks like both fighters are in the ring. We are ready to go for the moment we've all been waiting for, our main event. Let's send it up to the scary Oki, Gerald Whalen. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Remington Park, welcome to Championship Boxing here at Remington Park at the Cathedral Rumble at Remington. And this is for the new Imperium Oklahoma State Super Middleweight title. Six rounds of boxing scheduled in the Super Middleweight division. And this is the second chapter to a story that begins two years ago. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a man on a road to redemption. He weighed in at an official 167 pounds. His professional record stands, a stunning 20 wins, only two defeats with eight wins coming by way of knockout. The former Oklahoma middleweight champion, the former ABA super middleweight champion, the fighting pride of Kearney, Oklahoma. Ladies and gentlemen, Bo! Hands of Wargames! And his opponent standing across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at an official 171 pounds. His professional record stands at five wins with two defeats with only one draw. Three wins coming by way of knockout from Edmond, Oklahoma. Ladies and gentlemen, the former super middleweight champion of Oklahoma, Derek Akins Atkins. We go to Gerald Ritter for your instructions. Okay, gentlemen, we're going six championship rounds. Expect you to obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch your gloves, and let's get after it. This is our main event, a title fight for the Oklahoma Super Middleweight Championship. Bo Gibbs fighting out of the red corner, 20 and two. He is a world-ranked middleweight, taking on Derek Atkins, the only man, or rather the first man, to hand him a defeat inside the ring. Darren Humphrey with us at ringside. Darren, how much pressure is on Bo Gibbs to look good in this fight? Well, a ton of pressure. You know, as you mentioned, Bo Gibbs is world rated. That's a big, big deal. But Derek Askin stopped him in his first loss. So that has to weigh on his mind. There's no question about it. And something I will say, Atkins is a wrestler. And I feel like he sits on his punches. It was a late knockdown or a late knockout. He knocked him down in the first round and then stopped him in the sixth round. But, you know, that has to weigh on Bo Gibbs' mind. As you mentioned earlier, Bo's been waiting on this for, for two years. So, you know, we're about to see what happens. Of course, every fighter has an off night in his career. The question is, did Bo Gibbs have an off night that particular night two years ago? Or does Derek Atkins have his number? number. Well, <laughs> and that's a good question. That's why we're all sitting here watching it <laughs> and anxious, you know. I feel like, you know, I don't know. The fight game is tough. You know, everybody's good. Anything can happen at any time. I think maybe Bo Gibbs maybe had just an off night, but we'll see. Well, Bo Gibbs here in the first round looks dry and tense. 
And frankly, Derek Atkins has landed the much more effective punches here in round one. Bo Gibbs, the younger fighter, only 27, should be in his prime versus Derek Atkins, who is now uh, coming up on 30 years old. Well, and you have a good point there. I think Bo maybe is obviously a little bit uptight here. No matter what he's done in the boxing ring, he still has to remember that knockout from Atkins. So he's maybe you know a little bit tense, but as long as he can get through the first round or two and not get hurt or knocked down, I think he's probably going to win the fight. But since that bout... Good jab there. Oh, great left hook too. He yeah. sat down and caught Atkins coming in. Since that bout, Bo Gibbs has fought many more high caliber world-class fighters. Is he two years more experienced and better at this point than Atkins? Well, maybe as crazy as this sounds, I've been waiting to say this all night. If you're fighting maybe an inexperienced, tough fighter, as, we, as I mentioned earlier, Atkins is a wrestler, so he's tough by nature. Mm -hmm. An unorthodox fighter makes everything tough. You know, Bo's been in there with world, you know, obviously guys that are good like him. There's a difference between fighting an orthodox fighter and an unorthodox fighter. And Derek Adkins giving a uh, shout out to his wrestling background on his right, uh, rather left calf with the, yes. uh, with the uh, official Oklahoma wrestling logo. We're coming to the end of round one with Gibbs trapped wow. in the corner. We have round two coming up next. There we go, round two of our main event. Middleweight contenders, Bo Gibbs in the silver trunks. Great body taking, shot, excuse take, me. He's taking on Darren Adkins in the black trunks with white trim. Gibbs looking to avenge his first loss in the ring. Adkins knocking him out two years ago. Bo Gibbs looking to make a difference mm. in his professional career. Darren, first tell us how you scored number one. Secondly, I want to hear what you think about uh, the stakes for this fight for Bill Gibbs. Well, the stakes are really high. A fight is a fight, and I don't want anybody to forget about that. Derek Atkins is a super tough guy. He's here, and he obviously gave Bo Gibbs his first loss. I think Bo maybe had that fight until the last 10 seconds when Derek had him in the corner and landed the heavy shots. How did you score round one, Derek? I think I would, as much as I hate to say it, I think maybe Atkins maybe won that based on the last 10, 15 seconds. And, and it's what we've said all night. Derek Atkins sat down on his punches and he rocked Bo Gibbs going into the last few seconds. But I will say this, Bo Gibbs came out with a different mindset and he's already landed three or four good body shots. And to me, that plays a big difference in the fight. Whether you notice it at that point or not, it plays a big difference. Well, I would give Derek Atkins round number one, but round number two, we're about halfway through. I'd have to give to Bo Gibbs, For simply sure. on the body punches, he's landing right. very effective shots when he manages to work his way on the inside without eating a bunch of jabs and a right hand on his way in. Right. Oh. And there is Derek <laughs> Hey, and Derek Atkins is a tough guy, and he is smart on the inside. He is. He's a wrestler. <laughs> Wrestlers are tough no matter what, and they're there to fight, and that's a big, big thing when you're inside the ring. Bo Gibbs putting money in the bank by doubling up on those body shots, lefts and rights every time he uh, gets Atkins back against the ropes. But Atkins, frankly, I feel, is controlling the action in the middle of the ring. Well, and, and I, it's hard to disagree with that. But Bo Gibbs is landing a lot of body shots right now. And they're maybe not taking effect right now, but they're going to here shortly. I think the difference is, is that Gibbs is landing or, hard I'm sorry. punches. Right. Hard punches. It's Gibbs. I apologize. Yeah, Gibbs is landing hard punches on the inside. And while it appears Adkins, well, although this round is even at this point, and I think Gibbs may have taken taken over the round of those last two body punches. It's a pretty even round, but Gibbs is definitely building momentum. It's the end of round two. Round three, coming up. Right 
Round three of the six round title fight for the Oklahoma Super Middleweight Championship. Darren Humphrey ringside. Darren, uh, you said you scored round one slightly in favor of Derek Adkins. How'd you score round two? Well, I'd have to definitely give that to Gibbs. I got my, my names confused. I get excited like everybody else in the crowd. You know, sure, this fight sure. is exciting. It means something to me. You know, both of these guys are warriors, and that's why we're here. Uh, you know, I feel like Gibbs landed the better body shots in that second round, and I think that's going to take precedence in the long run. Bo Gibbs is 20 and 2 in his pro record. He's a world ranked middleweight contender. How high are the stakes in this fight, Darren? Well, it's a big deal. If Bo Gibbs loses this fight tonight, I think he maybe goes off in obscurity over, you know, the next year or two. But if he wins, I think he's back where he wants to be and where he needs to be. And does he put himself in line for a, uh, a title fight? Well, absolutely. You know, but he's a got bigger a bigger title fight. Absolutely, but he's got a really big fight in front of him tonight, as we're as we're seeing. What's what's the psychological toll on a fighter when they've been knocked out and <laughs> are standing face to face with the fighter who put them down? How well, much of a toll is that? There's so many things that go into a fight. There's so many things that a fighter thinks about before a fight. You know, earlier we talked about maybe the ring being soft and all that. That It used to affect me. I thought about everything. I think Bo's, you know, he's a professional. Both these guys are professionals. But, you know, Bo's got to, got to relax and believe in himself. You know, that's tough because he got stopped by this guy. But I think ultimately Bo Gibbs is obviously the better fighter. Well, Darren, as much as we've been talking, I feel like almost we've lost sight of the fact that this is a spectacular fight. These two are trading punches toe-to-toe -to -toe every time they exchange. This is high drama and high stakes here in Oklahoma City, Remington Park and Casino, as Bo Gibbs looks to establish himself once again on the world middleweight scene. Darren Gibbs is very deliberately and methodically working the body. Is that the right strategy? And there goes the mouthpiece. Gibbs laughing as an Adkins right uppercut shears the mouthpiece from his mouth. Referee Gerald Ritter taking it over the corner to wash out and maybe a much needed reprieve for Bo Gibbs. Sure, and I think Bo Gibbs is maybe a little bit too focused on coming forward and landing big shots. He got stopped, so he wants to stop Adkins tonight, and he's gotta forget about all that. He's just gotta go out there and box. It's called boxing, not brawling. We are coming up on the end of round three. We have round four coming up. This is a title fight. Super Middleweights fighting for the Oklahoma Super Middleweight Championship. Bo Gibbs in the white, gold, silver trunks taking on Derek Adkins in the black with white trim. Bo Gibbs, 20 and two, taking on Derek Adkins, the only man, or rather the first man, to hand him a defeat in the ring with a spectacular KO two years ago. Darren Humphrey joining us ringside. Darren, I gave Gibbs the last two rounds, but I don't want to give fight fans the wrong impression. Adkins is by no means out of this fight. You're exactly right, and this is a perfect example of styles make fights. Explain what you mean. Well, I think Bo Gibbs is maybe a little too focused. I think Bo Gibbs at this point wants to knock Derek Atkins out because Derek Atkins gave Bo, his, Bo Gibbs his first loss. And I think Bo's maybe a little too focused on that. And he's fighting the fight that Atkins wants him to fight. You know, something I noticed about Bo Gibbs, when he throws double hooks to the body, he seems to get really good leverage on one hand and almost slapping with the other. Yeah. 
Is that uh, something he should work on? <laughs> yeah, I think so, but I think that has to do with the with him getting stopped in the first fight. You know, he wants to come forward and tentative. land a big shot, but at the same time, he's scared to get you know to get hit big. Who wouldn't be worried For about sure. return fire when someone's knocked you out before? Derek Adkins handing mm. Bo Gibbs, world middleweight contender, his only loss inside the ring. Derek Adams in the black trunks with white trim. Bo Gibbs in the white, uh, gold, and frankly, spectacular trunks. They're, uh, they're <laughs> glittery. Is that the best yeah. way to put it? But, uh, but Bo Gibbs uh, seems to be pressing the, the action, but Darren, frankly, does not seem to be controlling the action. Well, and you have a really good point, and that's kind of what I've been trying to say in a nutshell without saying it, but I don't know. I think Bo needs to box maybe a little bit more because Atkins is a strong fighter just like Bo is. And Bo I think Bo needs to outbox him, if that makes sense. I've been saying all night how you want to sit on your punches, and mm -hmm. you do, but at the same time, you've got to box. Bo Gibbs is fighting aggressively. Darren, do you think he's fighting smartly? I don't, and I think that's just a mental thing because he got stopped in the first fight. We're coming up toward the end of round four of this title fight. We have round five coming up. And it's saying that there's a whole lot of fight. Round five of this six round title fight for the Oklahoma Super Middleweight Championship. Darren Humphrey ringside. Uh, I have Gibbs now winning three rounds to one, but by no means dominating. Darren? Well, I think I would agree with you, but I think you couldn't have a big argument that maybe it's, you know, maybe the other way a little bit. I'm not, I, I really do think Bo Gibbs is winning this fight, but Atkins is doing his job. I will say that. Atkins, a very crafty fighter. He is, and he to... looks really relaxed, and I'm surprised about that with his experience as Bo Gibbs is, especially being on the world scene. Not only does he look relaxed, he looks like a guy who's in control of the fight, and there he lands two overhand rights over the jab. Of and he's Bo unorthodox. Gibbs. Did you see him backhand somehow, him right there? Somehow landed a backhand hey, and right. Derek Atkins is fighting right now where Bo Gibbs is boxing. Excellent point, Darren Humphrey. So who would you say has the advantage? Hmm. Well, <laughs> it's a big mental game, <laughs> and... Derek Atkins, is, Derek Atkins is doing what he needs to do to make it tough. I, I, I think Bo Gibbs is winning the fight, as we talked about, but it's not easy, obviously. Well, Bo Gibbs may be winning the fight, but each of those rounds were close, and frankly, I would give this round five to Derek Atkins so far. Yeah, and what I think Bo Gibbs needs to do is he needs to start throwing some overhand looping right hands because Derek Atkins is leaning in with his hands down. And he's doing that to, 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 to move Bo Gibbs with his, with his elbows and his hips. And I think if Bo will throw that looping overhand right, I think he probably sits Derek Axes down. I think what uh, Bo Gibbs has not figured out since the fight two years ago is, is how to set up Adkins for a punch. You're right. He, and he keeps working the jab, and it's not working for him. You're right, because Derek Atkins is not going to go backward. He's a wrestler, he's a fighter, and he's there to fight. And that's a big deal. And that's what I'm saying. He's got to do some maybe unorthodox things and, and go outside of the realm. Bo Gibbs is obviously a, you know, he's a great fighter. But Derek Atkins is no pushover. Well, this has been a brutal fight so far. We're in round five of this super middleweight title bout. Bo Gibbs in the white trunks with uh, gold sparkles. Yeah, but and if you notice, even that last round of punches that Derek Atkins threw, he comes in and Atkins uses his hips and his weight and he pushes Bo around where if Bo would throw some looping things over the top, Bo, uh, Atkins' hands are down. And I think that would maybe be a difference in the fight. That's the end of a round five, the, the sixth and final round coming up.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the Rumble at Remington, the super middleweight title fight. Bo Gibbs versus Derek Adkins. Bo Gibbs looking to avenge his first loss in the ring. Bo Gibbs 20 and two, Derek Adkins five and two but seemingly appears to be in good shape in this bout and now turns it around so big Bo Gibbs has his back against the ropes. Derek Adkins controlling a lot of the action. Darren Humphrey joins us ringside. Darren, how do you have this fight scored going into the last round? I'm confused at this point, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I think, especially that body shot right there, I think Bo looks like the better boxer, but this is a fight. This isn't a boxing match. This is a fight between these two guys. And it's personal, and everything matters. And I think Derek Atkins is doing his job. He's not in there to box. He's in there to fight. Well, Bo Gibbs seems to charge in, determined to throw that big right hand, but frankly, it hasn't landed the way he's wanted to and he hasn't adjusted his style accordingly. And I agree, there's, there's, you can't deny that. And that's a credit to uh, Derek Atkins, you know. Again, Atkins has his hands down, Bo's coming forward, but Atkins is using his shoulders and his hips and legs and, and pushing Bo around a little bit, in my opinion. I think Bo's probably throwing the harder, better punches as far as a boxer goes but Atkins is making it tough on him. And as we wrap up the last round, who's in better shape? Well, that's a great question. They're in there doing, I mean, they're both in there battling, and I don't know. They're, These guys. They're both, they're both in great shape. It's they still both a great seem, fight. They both seem like they're in superb shape. Absolutely. They're still throwing hard punches, nonstop punches. And to yeah, and to me, this, like I mentioned earlier, this is a perfect example of styles make fights. Atkins is making it tough on Bo Gibbs, although Bo Gibbs is a much better boxer. Atkins is making it a fight, not a boxing match. And I think Atkins is winning this round, but all it would take is a and, pretty and, solid combination from Gibbs to but, turn that around. And did you notice right there what Atkins did, though? He stood up against Bo, and he had his shoulders into him, and he threw Bo off and then threw some unorthodox punches. And that gives him a little bit of distance to, to make something happen. It's a, it's a great fight. This is exciting. This is what we want. It certainly is, and Atkins just does not seem to be worried about Bo Gibbs' power on the inside. They train hard shots here at the end of the sixth and final round. Oh, great toe to there toe by Bo Gibbs. action. Great what a right fantastic there. way to end our main event here at the Rumble at Remington. This has been six rounds of a super middleweight title fight. We are going to the judges' store scorecards. We'll have their decision coming up. Holy cow, what a spectacular tunnel fight. Six rounds in the super middleweight division. It goes to the judges' scorecards. Let's send it up in the ring to the cantankerous Gerald Whalen. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Remington Park, the main event of the evening, proudly brought to you by Cathedral, goes to the scorecards. Judge Jason Greenwald scores the bout 57, 57, even. Judge Gary Ritter scores the bout 59, 55. Judge Tim Tallchief scores the bout 58, 56. For your winner and new Imperium Oklahoma State Super Middleweight title champion by majority decision, out of the red corner, Bo Hands of War And there it is, a majority decision. One judge finding it even, the other two ruling in favor of Bo Gibbs.
And frankly, Darren, I have to say I'm somewhat surprised by that 59-55 car. I would agree with the 59-55. And ladies and gentlemen, Derek at this time, this fight a word him. from your new Imperium and Oklahoma State Super good. Middleweight no title dishes. holder, Bo Gibbs. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, for keeping me and my opponent safe. Uh, make a big shout out to my uh, beautiful wife. Uh, my boy Bo, my boy Julian, I love you guys. And a big special shout out to Imperium. Where do we go from here, Bo Sr.? You know something? We've been wanting this fight for over two years. Derek's a true champion. Don't let his record as a boxer deceive you. He comes to fight. He's heavy-handed. Uh, I thank Derek Atkins and his team for taking this fight. He's a true warrior, and we've always loved Derek, but we knew we wanted this fight, and he knew we wanted it. And we're going, uh, it's in the hands of Bobby Dobbs, the greatest promoter and greatest manager in boxing. Uh, Bobby believes in him. We're ready to take a world championship shot, okay? All right. Thank you, Bo Sr. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Imperium Super Middleweight title holder, Bo Hands of War Gibbs. And there you go, Bo Gibbs moving his record to 21 and two, solidifying his position as a world middleweight contender. We want to thank you for joining us for tonight's Rumble at Remington. I'm Andrew Spino, joined ringside as always by the champ, Darren Humphrey. We hope you will join us for our next sure big bout from HD Boxing here inside the ring.